Hello, welcome to this video mini lesson on reading national norm reference data. What you see here in front of you is summary data on a student's ability test, specifically on the cognitive abilities test. The cognitive abilities test has a verbal, a quantitative, and nonverbal sections on it. So there are three subsections to this abilities test. And then there's a composite score, which incorporates the student's performance on each of the three subtests. The score data is reported in several forms. First of all, the student's performance is compared to other students of the same age in years and months. Additionally, the student's performance is compared to other students at the same grade level. Then you see this data represented graphically to the right-hand side. The white dot represents the actual standard score, and then the black bar, excuse me, not standard score, but the standard age percentile rank, and then the black bar represents the uh, standard area, standard error surrounding it. So if we come over here to these standard age scores, for these scores, the mean is 100 and the standard deviation is 15. So as you can see, this student's composite score is 131, which is just a wee bit over two standard deviations above the mean. Two standard deviations of above the mean would be 30 plus the mean of 100, which would be 130. So this is a teeny tiny bit above that. So that would probably be a z-score of 2.01, something to that effect. Then you see the student's age score as a percentile rank. And percentile rank, as you know, goes from 1 to 99 with a mean of 50. So this student's percentile rank is the 97th percentile, which doesn't sur surprise us given that the student has a z-score of slightly over 2. And then we also have this data represented in stanines. Stanines range from 1 to 9, the mean is 5, and the standard deviation is 2. So when you're thinking of stanines, a stanine of 1, 2, or 3 is below average. A stanine of 4, 5, and 6 is average. A stanine of 7, 8, or none is above average. So you might be asking yourself, why all three different forms of data? Well, they serve different purposes. The standard age score is a kind of a larger continuum of scores that can range greater than the percentile rank. Percentile rank is something that we're all very familiar with, and so generally it's a, it's a good, easy way for people to sense a student's performance on this test. Stanines are helpful because it's just a single digit. It gives you a real quick ballpark sense of where a student lies. For example, we know as a composite score, this student is in the ninth stanine, stanine telling us not only is she above average, but she is in the highest subpart of above average. So if we think of above average as seven, eight, or nine stay nine, she's actually at the highest stay nine there. So we know that her performance is very, very strong. This is a brief introduction to how to read nationally norm reference test data. We'll go over this in much more detail in class. Thank you, and please let me know if you have any questions.